Hello everyone, welcome to Java Expert. In today's video, we will discuss about pagination and sorting using Spring Data JPA. In last video, we have discussed about basics of Spring Data JPA and we demonstrated few samples on that. So continue with that. Today we will implement pagination and sorting using Spring Data JPA. So I just quickly summarize what we did in the last video. We had created one Spring Boot application and we have created employee repo interface by extending JPA repository interface and we wrote one custom finder method that is get by employee name and we wrote one service class and we wrote couple of methods on that to save the employee data and retrieve the employee data and we wrote one controller and we exposed couple of endpoint to test this application using Postman tool. So we are going to implement Pagination and sorting in Spring uh, Spring Data JPA in this Spring Boot application only. First, we will go to Employee Service class. So we are going to implement this Spring Data JPA pagination and sorting in two methods. One is get all employee and get employee uh, get by employee name. So we will implement it in, in these two methods. So for that, we need pageable object. Pageable object, we'll get it. For this, we have a one class called page request of. So here, normally it will come with two parameters. So first parameter is page number. So whenever we are going for a page nation, there are two data we required. One is the page number and the number of record on that particular page. So we will make it as parameterized. No, we will make it as a parameterized so that we can able to test using Postman tool. Page number record count. Page number record count. So now pageable object is ready. So we have to pass this pageable object in the find all method. So when we are passing this pageable object in find all method, the find all method will return object of page. So that we have to convert into list. A dot get dot to list. Now we will get the response in the list of employee. Right. So now uh, get all employee that method is ready same thing we'll do it in the get by employee name along with that we'll pass two more parameters here and same pageable object and we will pass that object in the get employee by name so here we no need to convert anything the reason is this is our custom method. So the return type is already list of employee. So we no need it to convert that return type into list. That's why we know to do anything. Next, we'll go to repository class because for custom method, we add one more parameter, right? So that we have to add it here. That's it. So now the error which was there in that uh, get employee name that is gone now. Let's go to controller. So what we are doing is now the first we are going to demonstrate you how pagination works then we will do sorting <coughs> so in the controller class so for in the employee name sorry get all endpoint we need two more uh, parameter that is page number and record count that we will add here page number Count. Page number. Cut count. We will pass this two parameter in service class that also. So now the first method is ready. Same thing we will do it here also. Okay. 
पेज नंबर एंड रिकॉर्ड काउंट वैल्यू हियर so right now our end point also ready now we can test this start my application so application is started let's go to postman first we'll create your data so that we can test 100 e e45 Hundred and one H thirty four hundred and two A five did four records hundred and three E but so we have created four records now let's go to our uh, get endpoints get all get all employee so here we have to pass two parameters in the path variable the first one is page number the second one is number of record uh, basically the record count so just consider we are going to have two records in each page so page number will start from 0 so 0 the page we need two records so 0 slash two we are providing i'll see we are getting the first two records so in same way on the second page we need two records so our index will be 1 the page index is 1 and two records the next two records will come now yes i think you guys able to understand how this page nation works in spring data jpa right now we will do the sorting with the same methods let's go back to service class so that's simple so we have added two parameters right in the page request of so we have to add a one more parameter that is sort sort dot by and we have to provide the property name sort with which one right so in get all employee uh, method will sort based on the employee name right so the property name we have to provide this is the our model property name emp name so that we are providing here same way when you are coming to this get employee by name here we will do the sorting based on the employee age when you have a same employee names we will sort based on the employee age sort by property this em age right so we have added uh, the sort parameter in both the methods so first one is sorting based on the employee name the second one is sorting based on the employee age let's restart the application So application is started. Let's go to Postman. First, we will create and records. So A and thirty-four. Now we want a sorting, right? So A thirty-four, not one, and K six, not three. Ah, uh, E. Thirty-nine and not four e seven. So we get four records. Let's go to get all employee. So here, so we are going to retrieve all four records in one go. So zero to page. We need four records, right? So get all employee is you now sorting based on the employee name. So the A B C D we are given in different order, right? Now it should be coming in the sorting order, right? We are getting all four records. If you see that it is coming in sorting order, A, B, D, A, right? So we are inserted the records in in different order, but we are using the sorting when we are retrieving the data. So we are getting it in the uh, no sorted uh, data based on the employee name. So now we will create another set of records to test the one more endpoint. This is that is 
uh, get the data based on the employee name and sorting based on the employee age. So we have added A, uh, A is there, right? So A will give some another age, 89, going to be not 5, same A, uh, one more age, 9, right? Now for A, we have a 3 record with a different age. Same way for B also. You eight seven will go one more B that is uh fourteen. For B also we have three records with the different age. Now we will test that one how that works. Get by employee name. So the first one will be employee name slash and your page number you have to provide the zeroth page and we need three records because we have only three so I am giving three. Yeah, I think for A, I think we have only two, two records. So even if I give three, the first two record will come. Means we totally we have only two records. If I give three, the all the record is coming here. So if you see the age, it is sorted based on the age, 9 and 34. Same if you give, if you give B, same thing, 3 and uh, 0 and 3, we are getting all three records, so 8, 14 and 67. Basically, we insert in different order the age, but when retrieving the data, because we done the coding to sort based on the employee age, it is coming in the sorted order of employee age. So that's it guys. I hope you understand how the pagination and sorting work in Spring Data JPA. So please like this video if you like it and share your thoughts in the comment section and share this video with your friends. I'll see you soon in with some other video. Thank you guys.